ago, we actually had a customer tell us that we are a redundant safety system here at Crux OCM. Thinking about it, they're absolutely correct. So I've had a few questions recently about, um, is this safe? If the control room operator isn't executing, is this safe? The answer to that is yes. Safety, of course, in uh, heavy industry is extremely important. These are very, very dangerous large pieces of equipment and it is paramount that they are operated safely. So, um, first we'll go through existing safety systems and then we'll go through how Crux interplays and why it, it has no choice but to stay inside of the existing safety systems. So depending again on the assets, the heavy assets we're discussing, so we'll take a couple of examples. If you're in a pipeline scenario, you'll have SCADA and PLCs. So SCADA, Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, PLCs, Programmable Logic Control out on the field equipment. If you're in more of a plant environment, you will have a DCS, Distributed Control System, and based on how it's networked and set up, your hard safety constraints will be separate to that to ensure that there's no mistakes when you're, when you're working on the DCS and that would impact those critical safety constraints. So, so you know, safe, existing safety constraints are programmed into both. Um, when when Crux OCM RIPA software is sending set points coming via OPC to the SCADA or the DCS system. So Crux cannot override the set points and the safety constraints that are currently those safety constrained set points that are currently in the SCADA system or the DCS. It's not possible. That also replicates over into your, into your PLCs. So you'll have the hard PLC limits coded in and anything coming from SCADA to the PLC to operate that equipment cannot override those, those constraints. So existing safety layers, Crux can't override them. Straight up, just can't do it. So then how do we make sure that we are staying within them with how the software actually operates? How we do that is inside of the robotic industrial process automation engine, we actually have to replicate the constraints. We need the client to provide those to us and sign off that they are correct. So examples of those would be your max allowable operating pressure, temperature gradient on a, on a heat exchanger, um, flow limits, high low, again, making sure that you're, you're well within the bounds of what safe operation is. On top of that, the way that uh, we set up the Crux OCM software is that we're adding a capability onto the control room operator's existing screens. So the set points can be entered in to the existing SCADA display and the client must provide for us what those max mins are so that the, so that the control room operator can only enter in what the max min is and it has to be signed off. So you can see we have the Crux OCM redundant safety system layering on top of the existing safety system. So not only is Crux OCM software automation safe, and you're also reducing control room operator burden, which is the leading cause of accidents. Um, you're also staying well within and providing an additional layer of safety to making sure that you're staying in those constraints. So, so the answer is yes. Yes, Crux OCM, robotic industrial process automation software, is safe.